There is a lot you can do in regards to customizing the template and I will show you the best practice. First, you need to make sure that the parameters are set correctly. So setting correctly the parameters involves selecting the right location or locations and making sure that the task is scheduled for anything that you're willing to plan or unscheduled for anything that you're willing to keep in the task dashboard available without planning. Uh, make sure that if you choose unscheduled that there is uh, um, available for the right team or the right teams and from there you will be able to customize everything. So the way it works is by blocks. So here on the right hand side of the, of the screen you have the mobile preview and on the left hand side of the screen you have the configuration settings. So for instance I will create a new page and I will title this page test page. Uh, here I can create a section title, so cleaning. And here I will create a block. And so within the block, I will be able to choose within 30 different kinds of fields. So if you want a really quick and easy way to be compliant, I recommend to select check boxes or close dances. Uh, I will select close dancers and here I will set the trigger that if this answer is no, then um, I will receive a non-conformity alert. Uh, so this is question number one. Let's assume that you also want a picture in this block. I will select a picture and I will select an automated date and time stamp and I will select an automated signature. So this is going to look precisely like that on the mobile or on the tablet. And that's all you need to do. So if you want to dive deeper into customizing the template, uh, this is not very complicated. You need to click on the, the answer and from there you will be able to add notifications. So for instance, if the, this answer to the question is no, then you can select a notification to be sent by email, SMS or in app uh, to, the, to the relevant team. And you can also allocate scores. So if you want to measure the performance of one team against the other or of one period against the other, you can do it this way. Uh, so once you've set this block correctly and that you are satisfied with the way it looks, you can easily duplicate it. So you will duplicate the section and, it, and this will appear like that. So for instance, if we've set that to be cleaning, we can set that to be uh, pest management. And the same fields will apply and will be used the same way. Uh, you can also do the same for the whole page. So there are three dots here and you can duplicate the page very, very easily. And here, as you can see, we have a next button that has appeared. And so that's, that's all there is to know in regards to templates. So there are absolutely no limit to what you can do with them. And if you need any help, don't hesitate to click the support button and we'll be one click away to give you an answer to any questions that you might have. Thank you. Bye-bye.